here, the first step is posting out with my right hand. Posting out, that's where my weight's gonna be. Posting out with my right hand, and the arm that's around the head swims through to the inside. All right, so we're here, and then I shift my hips. My ass is not on the ground. The only thing that's on the ground is my left elbow, which is up. And both his arms and his head are behind me. The small of my back is smashing his jaw. My ass is not on the ground. I'm not here. If I'm here, he could push me. He could hip escape, push me down, and now I'm here. Which happens anyway sometimes. When you're working on your twister side control, you're going to get your back to you and you're going to get choked. Don't trip. You're just putting in the numbers. You're just putting in the time. Eventually, it'll all turn around. And trust me. Every, everybody who put the time in, once they get to the point where their twister side control is better than the right, no one ever goes back. You go back, if it's not working and the guy's too good, damn, you might have to go back. But that's going to be your go-to. You're going to want to tap the guy. Let that ego run wild at that point and really try to get him. So, you just got to have faith. Regular side control, post, swim through, shift the hips. And I'm checking as, as I shift, my right hand is on his left knee.